This motorcycle taxi driver does not recognize Nobel laureate Maria Reza in this photo, but he has strong views about Rappler, the award-winning online news outlet she co-founded. They're too biased, and their views are all negative. They don't report well or fairly. Lauded for investigative journalism around the world, Rappler is short on support at home in the Philippines. The government issued the new shutdown order against Rappler in June, alleging it had violated foreign ownership rules. That order came just days before President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. was sworn into office. Its coverage on human rights abuses and corruption angered former President Rodrigo Duterte. This vendor says Rappler should be allowed to remain open, but cautioned against being too critical of the government. Follow what the government wants, but at the same time, tell the truth. Just don't attack too much and don't directly hit the government officials. Sentiments on the streets reflect a similar narrative driven by trolls on social media, who direct vitriol at journalists who report on Rappler, according to the International Center for Journalists. Rappler's co-founder and a former writer already faced nearly seven years in jail on a cyber libel conviction, which they have appealed. Meanwhile, Rappler's lawyers wait inside the newsroom in case the shutdown order is enforced. This is Rappler's newsroom in the Philippine capital of Manila. It has gone silent because of the pandemic, but despite the government's latest shutdown order against Rappler, it's business as usual for them and they will continue covering the Philippines with a more critical lens. Our goal is to continue holding the line. You've heard me say that forever. We're not going to voluntarily give up our rights. And we really shouldn't. I've continued to appeal for that because when you give up your rights, you're never going to get them back. Rappler says it will fight the closure order all the way to the Supreme Court.